Who says all this amateur stuff doesn't pay off? This is the, again, I went eight seconds over the limit on my last report. And do you think YouTube would forgive me for eight seconds? No, no, no forgiveness there. Eight seconds over, ah, I can't get you up on my blog. Damn, seems unfair somehow. I mean, it's right there on YouTube. You can see it on YouTube, but I'm gonna have to make this report and I'm going to have to cut it short because uh, we had an apology to give to Priya Gopal uh, earlier. Uh, Chad Coles has issued a statement um, that will be pending this afternoon. Uh, we want to uh, eliminate the possibility of any international incidents whatsoever over this uh, misunderstanding. Uh, we do know that Miss Gopal did retire to her trailer with two gentlemen callers, but the two gentlemen callers were cats. They were not gentlemen. Gosh, you know, I mean, scandal. Okay, anyway. Officers responded to the above location for a noise complaint on Dryden Road. Subjects were GOA. GOA, that's a new one for me. Gone on arrival, just like DOA. DOA, of course, being uh, drunk on arrival. Um, Officer responded to the above area on West Buffalo Street for a car alarm that went off. Hate that. Hate that. 2.40 in the morning. Kind of way. Dead deer moved off the road to the side of the road so that the carrion could get at it a little more successfully. Nice of the police to think of the of the uh, jackals and the crows and the other oh, the raccoons, possums, all the animals that could feed on a deer carcass. Worms, worms, maggots. A little tough for maggots this time of year, getting a little chilly. Child reported missing was located shortly after an officer was dispatched. Why we had to lose an officer just to just to find a child, I have no idea. But we lost one. Right? So, you know, the other the only reason to have children is to make sure that there, there's some social security left. Right? Oh, hey, wait. After I, I see here, the officer was dispatched and the child was located east of Paul Street. Everything's okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's good to know. What a relief. There was a loud female in one of the rooms in Linden Avenue. An officer spoke with her. She was having an argument on the cell phone. Shut up, bitch! Complainant reportedly received unwanted harassing phone calls. Said calls were found to be legitimate in nature. So was it like a bill collector was harassing him? Bill. Harassing calls found to be legitimate in nature. Subject was caught shoplifting and taken into custody on East State Street. Popped! Don't you go stealing shit. It's wrong. Officers responded to alarm and found that a dog had gotten out of its crate, which caused the alarm to go off. The house seemed secure and the EC was notified. I don't know what the EC is. That is an emergency K on unit or whatever. But isn't a dog an alarm? Or is it part of it a very elaborate alarm system that if the dog gets out of the crate, the alarm goes off, and the burglar's in double trouble. Suddenly there's alarms going off, there's a dog coming after you. Check the welfare of an intoxicated male on State and Plain Streets, staggering down the street. Officer was unable to locate the subject upon arrival. What did he just disappear. I think he fell in a big juniper bush and might still be there. A found knife was taken into possession. Officer responded to a hit and run. Hit and run, sons of bitches. Officer responded to the intersection of state and plane for a complaint of a person blowing leaves in the street. <laughs> they were unable to find this this alleged leaf blower. But he was, you know, imagine somebody down in their hand and their hands and knees. How about a whole crew of guys? How about we get the whole city crew to do it? Turn the goddamn leaf blowers off and just get down on your hands and knees and blow them into the street. <laughs> Officer responded to complaint of a person walking his dog. The dog was believed to be carrying weights in a backpack. <laughs> they were going to the gym together. What is it? Weights in the backpack. What do you think? Dog had no. He was carrying gold doubloons. Uh, they were gone on arrival. 
Officer responded with a report of an intoxicated person just signed off with Bang's ambulance. Oh, fuck up that. Driving that can't take an expensive cab ride up to the hospital. I think that's $700 and he's not even going to give me any oxygen. Or anything to drink on the way there. And you're not getting a tip and I'm not going with it. Anyway. Officer responded to the public library for the check of the welfare of a subject who was having trouble understanding a very difficult passage in Heidegger. Uh, said officer uh, was not a specialist in the area of Heidegger's work, but did understand something of Wittgenstein. They entered into a pretty decent conversation and um, with some cross-referencing were able to uh, work out work out a, some, 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 some kind of uh, understanding there. That was nice. That's good. I mean, very educated police officers in this town. Officer responded to said location for reported harassment. The only merit, I mention this only because it's up on my favorite Chestnut Street. It's all happening up on Chestnut Street, yeah. Chestnut Street, where the people meet and they beat the crap out of each other and they break their rental furniture and they. Th yeah, um, an officer was dispatched to AOA said location for choking victim. Ugh. Gosh, I hope you're okay. I know you might have a sore throat today. Choking is, boy, unpleasant. 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 Look. <laughs> I've choked before. I'm glad I'm not choking now. Or maybe I am choking. Maybe it's not so funny. Uh, officer observed a vehicle parked on the railroad tracks at said location. I'm closing this up because the subject said the vehicle was found, uh, the, the subject was found to be intoxicated. It was parked on the train tracks. That's suicide, by the way. Waiting for a Norfolk and Southern coal train or assault train to come along at 15 miles an hour and hit your car. Pretty stupid. Pretty stupid way to try to kill yourself. That was a that was a call for help. And there'll be more calls for help. And we need your help. So send in some news to Tiny Town Times. Glad to see you. Good to be here. Yada yada.